Have you ever wished you could use your home Wi-Fi at another building or another place on your property? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Let's get into it. So what we have here is a CPE450. It's a wireless bridge from the company UV. And what it does is it transfers Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi, to a different part on your property. And here's all the components, only four components each. It's a very simple setup, and I'm about to show you step-by-step step how to do it. So we have this plug-in right here. On top, you'll see the letters P-O-E, and on the other side, L-A-N. You want to plug it into P-O-E, and then on this, you want to plug it into the left side to the master bridge. By the master bridge, I just mean the bridge that stays at the house that would be connected to the home Wi-Fi. Now, when you get this plugged in, you won't see any letters or numbers until you hit the button on the left, which changes the channel that you're on. For this video, we're going to put it on channel 3. That is the master bridge. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the second bridge. Just know there's a little knob under the numbers. On the master bridge, you want it to be on A. On the second bridge, you want it to be on B. And then you'll have them connected like this. Now we're not connected to the internet, so we need another Ethernet cable that we can plug in from the master bridge. Just like this. And we're going to plug it into the home Wi-Fi router. So this is where we're going to go from this house over to that barn. Here's our router. We're just going to plug this into the back of the router and have it connected to the master bridge. After we get that connected, what we're going to do is take our second bridge and we're going to take it over to the barn. You can see the house way over there. We're going to plug this bridge in and we're going to aim it at that window in the kitchen where the other bridge, the master bridge, is. So we plugged it in. It's got light. All right, there's nothing connected now, so we're going to point this towards the house. And even with it not pointing straight, you can see that it is trying to connect to the other bridge. And eventually, it does connect fully to the bridge. Does not mean we have Wi-Fi yet. You're going to need another Ethernet cable and another router to get Wi-Fi over here. But you can have full Internet over here if you just plug a computer or something into this bridge. So after everything's connected, I got another router over here, and we do have Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to show you what the Wi-Fi looked on my phone. It may look a little bit different than yours, but all you need is the manual for this, and you can see the password that each Wi-Fi will have a different password, and they're all in the manual. It's really easy to understand. I'll show you a page that will make it very clear. So that's how easy it was to set up one of these CPE450s, the wireless bridge for Wi-Fi or internet connection to somewhere else on your property. I think this product is something that is very worth doing if you have something like a wedding venue or if you spend a lot of time further away, maybe at a shop or even a garage or somewhere like me, a fire pit down by my woods. If this is something you've been looking into, there's a link down in the description for this product, and there's also a discount code if you buy it off of Amazon. If you like this video, you'll love this one.